Okay, so... I want to get Beelzebub, but apparently the recipe I found for the answer doesn't actually work that way. Alright, let's see here. Oh, we see here we're getting Hillel, Satan, I think. Satan is sandal Oh yeah, the bat a baton has Tome of the Void. Uh I guess I don't know. Like we're not even gonna seriously use a baton. But I guess when he has Tome of the Void is something I should do. Power and temperance.
Mother Harlot for Vishnu. Uh, so this is gonna be a bit of a pain because I want that boost in amp, but as you see, Hobbit really likes the fact that I'm giving her ice skills. Now we're sure this move the harlot so that we don't lose her, we'll get Thor is the highest level chariot, so only choice is to go with him. since we get uh, possible. Oh wait, okay, so. The triangle Fuse, Natal, Incubus, and Succubus to get Pazuzu. Then we'll try and confuse Pazuzu, Wolf, and the Baton to get BL's Bob. For rebellion. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, my name is thy name. We're gonna go back to the compendium ad to get back some of my growth three personas later. Right now, I'm just going to sell all the fruits for spoils from the boss fights we did in the previous video in order to each bite of weapons with a shot but would you be one by my swap firearms <laughs> that's a fair opinion wow guys grace maximus sniper ooh plus 10 strength Jeez. Okay.
May seem weird to focus on Persona that's using um, Strip, not doing anything like that at all. But it would have been a bit too much of a hassle to try to get Mazio dying on him, too. Alright, oh. so Saturnus. Alright, let's fuse. Alright, let's see. Yeah, yeah alright, uh... deck. Also, first is their accessory, which nullifies ice weaknesses, but whatever. So I think I'm going to take put Akihiko on the team. Because of what the next fight actually is coming up. Yeah, Yukari, Junpei, and Akihiko make perfect sense and are really fitting for what's gonna come up. <laughs> Alright then. 
Let's ask Ruka to give us one last bit of background music that I've been saving for last on purpose. Yeah, this song, and we're gonna risk the copyright strike just to get the point across. There's nothing else for him to do. All right then. I think we've run out of new bosses to encounter though, because these seem like that. Yeah, these guys were. I thought these guys were infamously hard, but they're even harder now, aren't they? Panther. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Skills have improved. Okay. Man, that's some good stuff, though. Jinpei, I, I, I'm happy that you leveled up. Jinpei, I hope you're happy when we get to the end of the tunnel because you might not like what you see. Alright. Oh, I sent all stats. Yeah, I'm a little weird out that that's actually a weapon you can use. Oh. This, this guy is not worth it. It's just not what I had the characters I do. It's not worth it. Okay. You, I'm fine with. They're gonna be Elzebub. That's sick. 
avoir. It has multiple weaknesses. Alright, that's a thing. But yeah, it's what's as fun as this to do this thing right here. Kill with the name for Gemini anyway. Like, Goddess Shield makes a bit more sense to switch the Ibis, but where is Gemini about? Oh god. strike of course <laughs> my skills have improved sapphire all right you just sing a surprise glorious hand. there's only one Glorious. I made up my mind. And I'll sell your glorious coin later. So that's a bit weird. But yeah, the glorious coin is definitely something we're gonna have to pay attention to in the future. Oh, this guy. I'll scan the target. Fanta King, we haven't seen you now. Wait, wait, wait. I won't lose. I have not seen you in a while, sir. Now we got the rematch against you. Only one enemy left. It doesn't seem like Uh. 
Yeah, we've got it. We've got it. More importantly, he gets his no slash points. Did that bullet just bounce itself? There's one enemy. We're going out of here. I don't think no. you can get away. Yeah, we have to get away from there because it was like we already established that the Jotuns are just the most not interesting things to fight. But yeah, I think this song is probably the most uh, appropriate for the final leg of the uh, a journey to the abyss of time specifically. Because when you think about it, it really does feel like it really does feel like this is where we have to go. There are two of them. Attack! Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. You won't escape. I won't lose. That's right. Wind attack not working. Two enemies left. It's off. Let's keep going. Junpei, you demand the apocalypse for real, real. He's not wrong. He just randomly gets a weapon that gives him plus 10 to all of his stats. Just a little bit more. I agree. Alright. Give me some stuff, guys. Still four enemies left. Check this out. There's only one enemy left. Just one more. And then there were none. But but yeah, the Joe Tunes. You don't go any further than twenty-four floors, so like we were pretty much at the end. Twenty-fifth floor is pretty much always where they stop. I want a color handwritten for the better all you once in a while but never get fed up instead of like your insights so it's my step up all right here we go guys we're pretty much done oh no past 25 floors okay then. here we go we're pretty much all right, let's do this. What an appropriate song for this. Appropriate. 
Is this the deepest part of the abyss of time? You think? It's no different than the rest of the ones we've seen. But that fits logically, which means the abyss's origin, the reason for the time skips, is here. Oh, there's something I had to tell you all. It was in the papers about the abyss of time I mentioned before. Did you find something? If the report is correct, this place came into existence as a reaction to the creation of Tartarus. A reaction? The gigantic tower rising so high left a gigantic hole in its place. That's the abyss. Does that mean they've known about this place for ten years? They decided it would be harmless if left alone, since it would probably disappear with Tartarus. But it also said that since the Abyss is just a byproduct, there should be no shadows in it. Wait a sec. There's a friggin' ton of shadows here. And if it was supposed to go poof along with Tartarus, why are we standing in it now? <laughs> Did they forget a decimal place or something? No. Their logic makes sense. What was supposed to vanish is still here because of some force. One side's removal caused an imbalance. What could that force be? Who knows? Maybe it's somewhere down here. One thing's certain, though. It's deeply connected to all of you. What's up with that? What the hell did we do to deserve this? Well, there's another door. If that's here, then maybe... What's going on? Is that the big reason behind all this? If we leave out Igus, Metis, and me, whose past is left? Hey, yeah. Who else was there that had powers like ours? Who cares? There's no use speculating with it staring us in the face. We'll know once we open it. Whatever that reason is, it's strong enough to keep the abyss of time from disappearing. And we've come to erase that reason. We could be in for a battle. We should be very prepared before entering. She's right. This appears to be our goal. Don't worry, we can do this. So the last I door does belong to I Igis. Am Interesting plot twist there. <gasps> or does the last door belong to him somehow? You're <laughs> Wait. Please wait. to protect you interesting I dedicated my life to that purpose but I can't fulfill that purpose anymore there's nothing more I can do can I continue to live this way does my life have a meaning so while the other doors were about discovering why the characters were able to awaken the power persona where they find the motivation so, to fight I wish I could return to being a mere machine. Igus's door 
is about rejecting the call, rejecting her self. Ooh, what's that figure out in the shadow? There was someone rising from the behind Igis. <coughs> huh? That's the cause? D don't look at me. But, well, I didn't expect that we'd get to see him again, although he did have his back turned. Indeed. What's it mean? That looked like it was Igus's memory. What kind of a clue is that? Igus didn't have to awaken to her persona abilities, right? No, she did. She awakened to the special power he had. Igus, what was that? When did it happen? <sighs> I... always woke up to that. It was so painful to lose him. I withdrew into my room, unable to do anything. For a while, I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. <laughs> I, I love guess. Erica Harlacker's voice. Sister. Fuck me, man. But after <clears throat> a while... Sorry about that. I, I was... Dreaming entirely. Oh boy, yeah. Sorry about that. It felt Outburst. like a weight on my chest lightened and Sometimes we get that I'm still recording myself. That must have been the last of the dreams I had. But I don't see what that has to do with my awakening. Sister... Are you still in pain? The person we saw... He's the one who had the same kind of power as you. Isn't he? <sighs> so that's the big cause of all this? That didn't explain anything. <sighs> Don't you get it? What we saw was only my sister's memory. But... All of you want to see him again, right? Then the answer is obvious. What's that supposed to mean? What I said at the start was right all along. The fastest way to solve this would be to eliminate all of you. So, that means that figure we keep seeing <coughs> is... Wait, something's wrong. So like every other time when we found one of these flashback doors, what the? we're gonna get a boss fight at the end of this Just one. Just as I thought. It's coming. The monster that's taken the shape of your regrets. Is that? You gotta be kidding. That can't be. This is the reason for everything. From the abyss of time's failure to disappear to the presence of shadows. This was born from all of you. As we travel through this time, we keep coming across this shadowy figure that looks like the main character on several occasions. Which is why we get this song. This is... Our regrets given form. Yes, it is. Give me a second. I'll scan the target. You won't escape. Oh, no pierce. Okay. I'll show you my true power. Oh, it's boy. strong against darkness. Right. No pierce because the reason from very apparent very soon. Check this out. <laughs> Oh, there's something looking at. Athena! Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Persona! Oh, right. I'll show you my 
Yeah, because this song's just gonna not gonna end and not gonna repeat, so the whole tone of the entire fight will be pretty. Seriously, man, how in the world do you get this far into this mod but forget to loop that particular piece of uh, music? Check this out. How? I don't get that. Alright. It seems pure. Alright. Persona! I'll show you my well, if he ever does it anytime soon, we'll get to the main gimmick of this boss fight. So what's interesting about this is that since we're since people watching this let's play are coming here from Persona 5 uh, like Persona 5 Royal Let's Play. Trismegistus, you damn copycat! What we're actually looking at here isn't just a random occurrence of uh, of a character. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. I need your help. Of a. Uh, this isn't literally just a random occurrence of a character having the skills of a char of characters Hang in our parties. In this is the first instance the Persona series has done of using the Persona 5 Watch concept of um, cognition to determine exactly why the characters are able to do what they do it's and its effects our cognition can have on the world, specifically. I won't lose. Which is why this character is not only formed by the threat of our characters, but because it was formed by the condition of seas, he is in fact a he is in fact able to use our see he's literally just the evil version of the protagonist. Precisely because the regular protagonist gains power by bonding with seas normally, so he uses his own persona stock in the fight against us. Check this out. Well, he will use his own persona stock, born from the bonds of his social links. I should have equipped the slash accessory here now that I think about it, but it's whatever. I need your help! On the other hand, I'll show you my true power. the cognition of C's right here, that's what he is, the cognition of C's. What the hell? That almost feels way too deliberate. That feels way too deliberate. Symbolic. Okay. Next persona change, Panther Ray. Oh boy. Yeah, he actually straight uses all those skills. Even the skills he have mod into the game. Isis? Because you are the reason he's here, fool. Firing. Both of you. Miss. Pierce the man you love. Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't mess with me.
Oh, jeez. That guttural yell. In other words, this cognitive Minato Arisato, Makoto Yuki, is a cognition of C's desire to see the protagonist again. That was the monster born from us? But it the was monster born from your grief, yes. Yes, its powers and form were familiar, but it was a shadow. You are correct. Wait, but that makes no sense. Persona users are supposed to beat shadows, right? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've been fighting them this whole time without knowing. Personas and shadows are the same thing. That's why you're able to fight them in the first place. Did you all think that shadows were mysterious invaders or something? Shadows are the lower parts of the psyche everyone has. Suppressed human thoughts given physical form. When people are unable to face their darker and selves, and to be completely fair, loose, if you're going to this game for Persona but 1 and Persona 2, humans with special awareness you will have picked up on the fact that since you're fighting Those demons in the first persona two Persona users. games, what shadows actually are, so personas fundamentally, are the shadows. They're the same thing, just different names. was never actually explained until if now. If someone was able to create my sister and myself, wouldn't he have had to understand this? The Carrizos would have had to, All but it's kind of weird that Mitsuru didn't actually know that specifically either. Then the reason for all this is our personas? The shadow's power affects time and even space. Through your personas, your unspoken desires were manifested. You can't stand to see time move on. You don't want to accept your loss of someone precious. It was by each of you your want the world to respect your cognition forward. of reality, and which was specifically a reality where the protagonist was still alive. So we trapped ourselves. Huh. It's almost funny. Whatever the reason was, we beat that thing. We won. That should solve all this, right? Yes, that is correct. If we return to the dorm, we may be able to go outside. Whoa, what's this? When did I... Is this... a yeah. key? Mm -hmm. You should be able to leave using those keys. Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. Key of time, key I am. Finally. Jeez, I'm glad this didn't end up taking another year. But these keys, there's eight of them. That's because each of you played a part in bringing this about. The door probably won't open unless all eight are used at once. Strength of heart when united is barred by no door. That's what Igor Those meant. Words. <clears throat> so it'll open if we're all around, is that right? Then let's get the hell out of here. Uh, so are we just gonna waltz out through the front door? That door? Or another one? There's still one closed door that doesn't connect to the outside world. The main entrance, or that door. It's one or the other. A door that doesn't connect to the outside world. <clears throat> Are you talking about the door to his room? I just assumed someone had locked it. That door has the same feel as the doors to the past we've been going through up to now. What do you mean by one or the other? If we open it, won't it just connect to another past? That's right. If you go through the entrance, you'll return to the present. But that door leads to the past. The past? 
past. The world of the past. You've all been there many times now. But this time, the abyss will disappear once you go through the door. You'll be in the true past. Is that true? <sighs> why would I lie about something like this? If you don't believe me, then why don't you try leaving through the entrance? To accept the past or to revisit it. You're saying that in the end, we have to choose. What do you want to do? I'll go along with whatever you decide, sister. That <clears throat> way, I'll finally be able to save you from this cursed fate. To be honest, no. that's all I care about. <sighs> cursed fate? Which one are you going to choose, sister? I... <sighs> uh, hey, why don't we go back to the dorm first? This is way too heavy to decide right here. I agree. You must resolve. Oh, so the cracks in time what are starting the? to spread. What are all these cracks? This is bad. It's becoming unstable. It should last a little longer, but we don't have much time. If the fault extends to the door, we may not be able to leave even with the keys. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? <sighs> All right. So, uh, what's the plan? I mean, no one's seriously thinking about going back to the past, right? <sighs> no, um, especially not thinking, Yukari. I have to keep moving forward, and I'm not who I used they to be. They never figured about. out the cause of death at the hospital, right? Well, that's... Personally, I still think it's because he used all his power to... Yeah, admittedly, it, the, like, why the protagonist literally never told anyone what was going to happen to him at all in any way or form is kind of so the entire reason right this dilemma is occurring. Because C's doesn't know what happened, they and want him back. This entire expansion We've could have been prevented kind of by leaving a video will or something. That resolve and what it brought about. There's no way we can cancel that out on our own whims. Even if it hurts, we have to deal with it and accept the present. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yukatan? I mean, you say it all the time. You gotta look forward. I... I want to go back. To the time before the last battle. When I thought about how he protected us, I kept telling myself that I have to keep looking forward. That's why I started going to cram school and spending less time goofing off. But I can't lie to myself. If there's a way for him to come back, I'll take it, no matter what. Yukari. So, you're giving up? Are you saying you don't have the strength to face reality? <sighs> After all the things we've gone through, you're just gonna throw in the towel in the fight against yourself? Oh yeah, you're really one to be throwing around all those high-minded ideals. If you really thought something was that precious to you, you'd want to protect it no matter what. Don't you understand? We can go back and fix things. Are you seriously just gonna let a chance like this go? So... Then I'll ask you this. If I said I wanted to undo your father's death, would you do it? Even if there was a way to reverse Shinji and Miki's death, I'd flat out refuse. Akihiko's a Nothing firm in believer in misery waste. and You're Just making care. excuses. <laughs> hey, you keep 
mentioning death. Are you saying the person who saved you all didn't just leave? That's correct. He passed away. What? Why didn't you tell me before? Why? But you've never met him. Anyway, what do the rest of you think? I don't know. I get second thoughts when I think about going back to when Chidori died. But I definitely see what Akihiko Senpai is trying to say. When you get down to it, though, I, I hate to say this, but I'm just too scared to do that battle over. What's wrong <laughs> with you? Are you saying you're scared to die, but it's okay if he does? It's not what I said. I mean, have you really thought this through? Going back to before that battle means we have to fight Nyx again. Did you ever think about what might happen if we lose this time? It's the same thing. Either way, all it means is that you're just scared. And you two are no better. All that talk about accepting the present is because when you get down to it, you only care about yourselves. What? <laughs> How can you say that? Oh, well. You know what? Yeah, this is a frustrating thing for Yukari to do, and more or less over a decade ago, this has cemented her place in the Persona fandom. There's no use going around as one of most like dis We're never gonna reach an likable characters so if no one you've gives ever in, had in your party. We'll have to settle this another way. Another way? <gasps> Yukari chan, you don't mean. She's the one that suggests they all fight over it. Okay, I forgot that. Taking the keys by force. That'll work too, right? Alright, look. It's true that the eight keys will merge if they're brought together, even against their holder's wishes. But if it comes to a fight, I'll protect my sister with everything I have. These keys represent each of your strength of heart. If you take my sister's, she may lose her life. What do you mean? You're only thinking of what's best for you. The person with my sister's power died of unknown causes, didn't he? Did any of you ever stop to think that maybe the same thing could happen to her? Yeah. No one actually knows what's going on her. or what exactly okay. happened. I won't make another mistake. I'll do whatever it takes to save her. Metis. Son, which door are you thinking about unlocking? I... I can't decide right now which is more important. Past or the present. So you're just gonna run away? Again? Just like the day we said our farewells to him, and you were the only one who didn't show up. That's like the opposite of true. You got to hear his last words. You even made him a promise. But here you are, still running. Why were you the one who inherited his power when you can't even make up your mind? I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lose to someone like you. Jeez, kid. Yukari-chan, are you really going to fight? This decision hinges upon someone precious to us all. Our differences can't be settled with a compromise. No matter what I guess oh, decides, gosh. we have no choice but to fight. And I've made my decision as well. I'm going to stand with Yukari. Yo. Senpai! You're taking her side? Are you serious? I know you well enough to tell your mind's made up. All right. Everyone! Everyone, please stop thinking then. with your... Follow me. I'll with your personas. For if we fight there, no one can appeal the result. Hey! Oh, that's interesting.
how will I make the final decision? Interesting. They are thick with tension. I want to save him. So Yukari desires to save the guy. Ken and Akihiko desire laying the bygones to bygones and just moving forward. Junpei, however, is now thinking about what would happen to Aegis if they do fight, so he's not. And Junpei is the only one saying, no, I'm not saying I'm being a coward. I'm saying, what the hell are either of you thinking about? And why are you being such assholes about it? So you see now why I brought this specific party to the, uh, the table, right? Don't worry, you can still use the Polonia Mall shop. It's just that, uh, well, I'm a little bit tired. I'm gonna go get something to eat. And while the rest of the videos will be uploaded onto YouTube in the future, uh, they will not all be finished today. You'll see why. So, thank you guys for watching. The beginning of the end is straight up next episode. The fellowship has ended, unfortunately.